Hello everyone, my name is Snow White, and I can't wait to tell you my story. I was a lovely princess who lived in a castle. I was kind and generous, and my heart was filled with joy. <laughs> but my stepmother, the wicked queen, was jealous of my beauty. One day, my life changed. I had to run into the deep, dark, and frightening forest to escape the queen's evil plans. Branches tugged at me. Mysterious creatures stared at me from the darkness. I was very afraid. I was all alone and could never go home. I cried as I stumbled farther into the forest. But soon I heard birds singing and I decided to sing too. Singing made me feel much better. As I sang, all the forest animals and birds became my friends. They even led me to a small cottage in the woods where I might stay. I looked around. Why, there's seven little chairs, I said. Must be seven little children. And from the looks of this table, seven untidy little children. What peculiar appetites. And look, cobwebs everywhere. that no mother would allow her children to be so messy. Maybe they have no mother. Then they're orphans. That's too bad. I know we'll clean the house and surprise them. Then maybe they'll let me stay. I had stopped thinking about my own troubles, and in no time, me and my animal friends had swept, dusted, and tidied up the entire cottage. Exhausted, I fell across the little row of beds upstairs and was instantly fast asleep. When the dwarfs came home, they didn't know what to think. Something's in there, they said. They wondered if a goblin visited their home. The dwarf saw the delicious looking dinner that I prepared. It's witch's brew, they said. When the dwarfs crept up to me, they were very surprised. Why, it's a girl. She's mighty pretty. She's waking up. What'll we do? I woke up and stretched. <gasps> when I saw the seven dwarfs, I was even more surprised than they had been. Oh, why, you're little men. How do you do? I asked. How do you do what? One of the dwarfs replied. <laughs> hmm. 
I'd explained who I was and why I was asleep in their beds. The dwarfs knew that I needed a safe place to hide from the queen. After talking things over, the dwarfs decide to let me stay. The cottage in the woods was transformed. Every night the dwarfs would sing and play their instruments for me. The dwarfs were glad to have me live with them. Because of my great kindness, the dwarfs soon, soon came to love me. I was so happy to have found the dwarfs. When I first ran off into the woods, I had cried, as anyone would. But I didn't give up, and I found a new home. In time, I left the dwarfs to marry a prince. But I often thought of my dear friends in the woods. Thank you for listening to my story. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.